Hey besties. <laughs> Today we are taking care of ourselves. <laughs> I need like one non-emotional day. The stress of being an adult is too much. I don't want it. Take it back. So today we're doing some self-care and we're also doing some plant care. And we're gonna have a very chill, peaceful, relaxing day. <laughs> and my friends, we are starting with something super exciting. So let's just jump into it. Okay, just kidding. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, actually, I was gifted with a kind box from Kinder Beauty, and we're gonna utilize that today in our self care. So they sent me their kind quarterly lifestyle box and each box is carefully curated with your well-being in mind and features ethical hand-picked products from some of the best brands in the industry. All of the products are 100% clean, cruelty-free and vegan, which is amazing. And that was one of the reasons why I was particularly excited to um, receive this from Kinder Beauty. With these boxes, every quarter, you'll get up to 10 hand-picked products with a combined retail value of at least $240. They also offer monthly beauty boxes and one-time purchases in their marketplace. You can use the code GOOD10 for 10% off your first kind box. And if you sign up for their annual subscription, you will receive a free box valued at $147 or more. Look, it's our little victorious girly. Love her. This is a very sweet idea. Um, and I hope I end up actually liking the products. <laughs> and I'll let you know. Let's actually do some plant care. I think that that is gonna really jumpstart our self care because if you know me, a productive day is a good day. Isn't it funny how like, you know there's a mic there, but I go to all these lengths to hide it. <laughs> so as I said, I need care, but so do my plants. And typically I don't repot a lot this time of year, um, unless the plant is doing okay. But these plants are literally like on their hands and knees begging for attention. So I'm gonna address some plants here today. As far as supplies goes, if you're curious, this is from my plant folio. I don't even know if they're still in business, but this is what that's from. I have some jars that we're gonna need, some shears, and some soil, which is a mix of cocoa coir, uh, pumice, worm castings, and orchid bark. I should know that like off the top of my head by now, but it is what it is. The first plant I'm gonna start with today is this Syngonium Chia Pence. Let's see, here's her close up. She's doing phenomenal, but as you can see, she is extremely leggy towards the bottom. She's losing a leaf. I'm being bold and I'm gonna chop her up. I'm just gonna chop her up into a bunch of little pieces. This is gonna take two seconds. I'm looking for nodes. If you don't know what a node looks like, you see how there is this bulging part of the plant right here? That's a node. And sometimes they have these little aerial roots coming off of them, um, like so. But yeah, that's a node. I have a lot more, more official videos on that, but I'm just gonna cut her free from this moss pole sitch. All right, she's free from the moss pole. One here. All right, you're dead. I could, oh my God. I know someone's gonna be upset with me for not saving the nodes, but like, 
it is what it is. Oh my god, I'm getting the sap everywhere. It is what it is, people, okay? You can love me or you can hate me for that. We have another cutting. Another cutting. Another cutting. I have sap everywhere, that's normal. It's like this white stuff that comes out of the plant. I'm hoping you can see that. Once I'm done with everything, I'm gonna fill this with water, but for now, I'm just gonna stick the cuttings in this vase to callus over. And look how pretty that looks. Come on. It's literally pretty on its own. Oh my God. Look how much sap is coming out of this thing right now. Hold on, where is she? Look at how much sap. We're gonna deal with this Hoya Cardosa Compacta instead. She has this business going on. So my plan is to, and this soil is so old. I haven't touched her in years. This is her original soil. Things are obviously not looking too hot. I My plan is to unpot her, take out the dead growth, and then repot her back into the same nursery pot. Since I'm losing foliage, I'm not worried about bumping her up. Maybe I'll change my mind when I see the roots, but I don't think so. And then giving her some fresh soil to breathe in. Yeah, like the roots are nothing special. They're fine. My sleeping schedule is so bad. Like so, so bad recently. I literally got to the point where I was talking about it in therapy and that's when I'm productive is at night. So why do I have to make myself productive towards the day? I thought I had like a big point in therapy and she was like, girl, you don't live, keep, I can't keep doing this. Anyway, that was my rant for today. Okay, so the roots are free and now I'm just gonna Move this, backfill a little bit, and just as I expected, I feel comfortable putting this root ball back into the six inch pot. And this, this fresh soil is gonna let uh, water get to her roots easier because it's not as compacted. It has nutrients in it that the other soil was already void of. And the uh, nutrients comes from the worm castings and then when i remember to water her with liquid dirt that'll also get absorbed into the soil and she's done one of the bigger projects is out of the way i'm gonna plop her in her little cash po and we'll give her some water and she's literally good as new. You could never tell that she was having a mental breakdown. Honestly, I was gonna do a plant and then I just don't even wanna deal with it. So we're moving on to the final plant and that is this Florida, a uh, philodendron Florida ghost. She is gorgeous, but as you can see, I have this very <laughs> wobbly, loose, thin, stake in here and she's outgrowing it she's too heavy for it so we are going to remove it and instead we're gonna bump her up into the pot that the chia pence was in so i'm gonna set her down for a second and clear out this pot you had some roots, my girl. The chia pensy had some roots. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be a bad plant parent. This is not a how-to video. This is like you are relaxing with me and getting a look into my life kind of vibe. So, if I was doing a how-to video and I wanted to be perfect, I would wash out this pot. I would make sure it's clean. There's no chance of pests or bacteria getting transferred from one plant to the other. But realistically, I'm not doing that. And that's that. I'm gonna tell you what you're supposed to do, but I'm not gonna do it. <gasps> Shoot. Uh-oh, we have a tangle. Stop it. Oh. Okay. You need to be repotting too. There's so much repotting, it doesn't end. Okay. 
Now for her, she's droopy like this, so I definitely want to pot her a little bit deeper in because you can see like the back end of the plant keeps coming out of the soil. So let's see. I don't want to break anything. And this soil is good, so I can reuse it. I honestly was going to put her on a stake, but I kind of love her vining. But she does so much better with a stake. But I really love her vining. I think I'm going to let her vine. Sorry, I'm going with it. This is a plot twist for me. I was not expecting me to make that decision. But like, I love what this plant looks like when it's vining. Everybody makes it go up on the moss pole. But I just need to make sure she's potted well enough that she's not going to like lift out of the pot. Because that was my other, my problem before. So we'll try that out and see how it goes. Let's get this delicious soil in here. Okay, pat, pat, pat. Do, do, do. I love repotting plants. Oh my god, I miss it. And look at her go! I'm probably gonna regret the vining thing because she really liked being up on a pole, but whatever. I think she looks really cool. And now is the worst time in the world, which is cleanup time. <laughs> do a little bit for the vlog but this is actually s cooling <laughs> it also said you can do it like this no i don't like this one i feel like the idea that self-care is like a face mask and whatever is kind of outdated but i think what really counts is that you set aside time for yourself and that's kind of what i'm trying to do today i've never done like a gel sock before and i went to go grab something <laughs> and i thought i was gonna fall over <laughs> they're insane i made some tea i kind of like made a makeshift tea mug if you saw I don't have the attention span for this right now. Oh my god, I really don't. We're gonna pause while doing five calming breaths. That's what we're doing right now.
Vlogging is so funny because now I just have like five minutes of footage. That's just me watching Scooby Doo. <laughs> but anyway, I think we're gonna cut the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, huge thank you to Kinder Beauty for sending me that care box. It was really fun. I'm having a great time and it does make you carve out a little me time. If you wanna get your own box, you can use um, blah, 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 code GOOD10 for 10% off your order. And if you sign up for an annual subscription, you will get your first box for free. So check them out. They will be linked down below. I hope you all have some time or ability to take care of yourself in whatever way makes sense for you, that feels good for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.